Are you thinking about making a move to the Grand Rapids, Michigan area? Okay, here's the thing. If you're making a move to the Grand Rapids area, there are so many things you need to know, but I sorted and sifted through that entire list and I came up with the top five. There are more, but this will get you really clear on what's so amazing about the Grand Rapids area. Let's start first off with the cost of living details. People are always wonder that what is the cost of living in the Grand Rapids area? Now, the good news is it's always been one of the most affordable places to live in the entire country. For decades, it's been that way based on the cost of living index. So as of 2022, the cost Cost of living in Grand Rapids is 89.5. So we'll use as this benchmark and 100 is the comparison. So across the U.S., that's 100 and it's at 89.5. So what that simply means is that anything less than 100, it's less expensive to live in the Grand Rapids area. Now, speaking of the city of Grand Rapids, we're going to talk about housing and how many houses are available and where you can search for real estate. Then I'll also get into the home pricing for you. Okay, so there are currently 715 homes available in the Grand Rapids area and they range from, believe it or not, 39,000. So super cheap. That would be on the outskirts, by the way, all the way up to 2.6 million. That's the most expensive home available today. The places that you can look for real estate, you can go to a site. I'm going to keep you away from the ones with a lot of advertisements. Go to a place called GRAR.com. There's a friendly buyer search there. Imagine Zillow without all the advertisements. GRAR.com. It stands for the Greater Regional Association of Realtors.com. It's basically the forward-facing MLS for all buyers to search for real estate. So if you're looking for a home in the area, that's the best way to do it. Or you can even go to our website, which is Yoder Real Estate Homes. Dot com all together yoda real estate homes right here dot com it's a similar system as grar.com imagine again zillow without all the advertisements it's not going to catch you somewhere you can look at every home available on the market in those two places okay what's the third thing we're going to talk about let's talk about weather oh here in grand rapids michigan today it's like 17 degrees it's not always 17 degrees. Let me give you the averages for Grand Rapids. The average temperature across the board for all 12 months is 44 degrees. We have 23 days of average of snowfall, and we actually have six feet of snow every single year. Now, the thing about this 44 degrees is it's actually not 44 degrees every month. For the six months from May through October, the average temperature is about 74 degrees. So not too bad. Then it starts to taper off, as you might imagine. So that's the weather patterns for Grand Rapids, Michigan. And let's talk about the average or the median median home price. So the median home price in Grand Rapids is 228000 compared to the median price across the country, 291700 So slightly under the median for the country. And finally, these are things to do. The top three things, and we're going to focus on the things that we find ourselves doing here and appreciating the most about this great city, Grand Rapids. So number one on the list is a Frederick Meyer garden. So it's a big, huge, massive sculpture and garden where there's paths you can walk through. There's a butterfly exhibit. There's actually a museum here, and they have a lot of concerts. In the summertime, you'll find yourself there. If you're interested in live music venue, it's beautiful, and people come from all over the world, actually, to come to this particular venue for that. And what else? The museum is actually one of the top 10 visited museums in the entire country. So that's Frederick Meyer Gardens. If you're in the area, you've got to check it out. Number two would be the Van Halen Arena. This is a music venue. Primarily, it, it seats 10,000 people. It's right downtown Grand Rapids. The benefit of being at the Van Andel Arena is your downtown and all the restaurants and the scenery around it. And you'll find yourself there if you're looking for a concert, if you're looking to go to a, a rodeo or a bull riding. There's concerts, there's basketball. This is the place for larger venues. 10,000 people. It's a huge stadium. It's not the largest in the country, but we get a lot of big names that come to the Van Andel Arena. And next we have the John Ball Zoo. Grand Rapids wouldn't be a city without a zoo. And we actually have an awesome zoo. John Ball Zoo was founded in 1891. There are over 200 species with more than 1,000 animals at the John Ball Zoo. And it's huge and beautiful. And it's actually centered right around Grand Rapids, Michigan. So those are the top five things that you need to know if you're making a move to the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Again, I'm Kevin Yoder, owner and CEO of Yoder Real Estate. We're bringing the realness to real estate. If you like this video and you want to learn more about living, working, and buying and selling real estate in the Grand Rapids area, come back, make sure you subscribe to this, like it, and share it with someone that you know would be interested in this information. We hope to see you soon.